You're watching Newsday TV. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ken Bufa. A dog that was found tied to a pole on the Southern State Parkway now has plenty of options for a new home. Sherry Einhorn explains. You do that to an innocent animal is, uh, is sickening to me. 61-year-old so Ray Quinones is devastated by what he discovered early Monday morning while driving to work. A dog tied to a pole on the side of the Southern State Parkway here at exit 21. I thought I was seeing things. I don't know what made me look there. I don't know. She was very nervous at first, but as I approached, she got a little happy, but then got nervous again, so I kept my distance. He called for help and waited for state police to arrive. Her name is Roxy. She's apparently a four-year-old English Mastiff. State police say she was found with a full bowl of food and a note saying she had been fed and given a flea bath with this request, see that she gets good care. Now, as you might imagine, there's been a huge outcry of love and support for Roxy, including tons of people who want to give her a forever home. We probably had 25 people show, drive from, from the metro area to sign up just to start the review process. Roxy is now being taken care of here at the Hempstead Animal Shelter. An investigation is underway. Anyone with information about who may have abandoned Roxy is being asked to call the New York State Police at 631-756-3300. They could face a, a misdemeanor abandoning an animal. They could face a uh, felony, aggravated cruelty. For now, Roxy is enjoying roast beef treats along with lots of love and affection. I'm Shari Einhorn for Newsday TV. And speaking of dogs, Babylon has dropped its dog license fee to $1. The town hopes this will get more people to register their pets. If a dog gets lost, it helps locate the animal's owner. In Long Beach is taking legal action against promoters who organized a party that never happened. The city has filed legal action against the organizers, one from Inwood and one from Queens, holding them personally and financially liable for all costs incurred by the city as a result of their actions. Now, the gathering was promoted on Instagram and 500 people were expected to attend. City officials responded on its social media pages saying the party was canceled. The event would have been days after another large gathering on the beach where a teenager was shot. Now that prompted the city to announce new restrictions on beach access. And credit card only policies are now banned at the state and golf courses. Now Long Island lawmakers came up with the law and the governor signed it today. One of its sponsors tells Newsday it's inequitable to many seniors, young adults and minors who mostly use cash. Some kids are taking on a new sport this summer, sailing. Beth Whitehouse has the story you'll see only in Newsday. We on Long Island live surrounded by water, and one of the best ways to get out on it is to learn to skipper your own boat. Of course, you don't start on a sailboat this big. Here's where you do begin. Here at Port Jefferson Yacht Club Sailing School, we teach students ages 6 to 17, and we teach them from the ground up. So we learn parts of the boat, we learn basic navigation, we teach water safety. Our students sail two types of boats. We have optimists, which we shorten to call opties. Those are for our younger students ages 6 to 10, and for our students who are 11 to 17, they sail 420s. There's no need to be a member at Port Jefferson Yacht Club to sail with us in the summer. My son's been learning how to sail since he was about 4 or 5. Why? Because you don't need an engine to sail. It's peaceful, it's a good thing to learn. What is your favorite thing about sailing? Um, it's just fun to do, like, especially if you have, like, winds. It's, like, really fun just to sail. Each day when students come in, we start in the classroom with them for about half an hour doing a chalk talk, as we call it. They learn that day's skills. And then after that, the instructors bring them out on the water to apply those skills during drills. Boom, tack, jibe. These young sailors are learning the vocabulary of the high seas. Why do you have to know what the boom is? So if you're turning, the uh -huh. wind will, so if 
if the wind will push it. Okay. And then if you're up, oh. you swing it, and then it might hit, hit, hit your me head in like the this, head. and it'll make a boom sound. That's why it's called boom. So what is a tack and a jibe? Tacking and jiving is ways to turn the boat. Okay. So I just have to be careful not to get hit yes. in the head with the boom when we tack or we jibe. Yes. All right, high five. Let's go. For Newsday TV, sailing in Port Jefferson Harbor, I'm Beth Whitehouse. Smart kid. Now to read more about this story, go to Newsday.com. Click Get More on the Newsday TV video box. Now let's take a look at your 4th of July Long Island weather and it looks like it's going to be dry, but there may be some clouds. So take a look. You see tonight we're in the mid 60s. Tomorrow we're near 80s, but we will have some cloud cover. Take a look for yourself. Pretty much the temps are mild, if not a little high, but nice. But cloud cover will be an issue. Hopefully it won't block out any fireworks. Take a look at the seven day forecast. We do have some rain afterwards. Kind of not great, but at least it'll be dry on the 4th. Long Island weather is brought to you by Sun Nation Energy, helping Long Islanders save on their energy bills for over 20 years. You're watching Newsday TV. I'm Ken Bufa. Have a happy and safe 4th of July. Thank you for joining us.